Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological look at the week ahead. And that is the week starting Monday the 18th of January 2021. And I'm making this on Sunday, the day of the Jupiter-Uranus square. So um, it's good, I think, to mention that uh, Jupiter-Uranus square because it's still going to be manifesting the first first half of the coming week for sure. So what kind of um, things should we be actually aware of at the moment? Well, the first thing I think of importance is that the planets are still within 180 degrees of the zodiac, all of them. So this um, kind of tight-knit community of planets we call a bundle, a bundle of planets. And certainly when the moon goes into Taurus this week, we've got an awful lot of planets at that point, with the sun also moving into Aquarius this week. We have an awful lot of planets um, in the fixed signs. So we have this bundle, which means we've only, we've got a, a narrow area of interest, if you like. Our focus can be um, incredibly intense and actually we can get a lot from it because we can put our mind clearly and singularly to certain goals, right? So there's a fixity of purpose, certainly. But what we get when all the planets are in a bundle, what we, what we lose is a clarity of vision. What we lose is this idea of the big picture. And certainly when uh, we haven't got the big picture, we have, uh, you know, I think from, from when the moon goes into Taurus this week, I think it's seven or eight of the planets are in fixed signs. What we get is this idea of being entrenched in your own standpoint, in your own idea, in your own, um, yeah, your own values sort of thing. And when you meet then someone else whose ideas are not in line with yours or think completely differently to the way you do, you get this sort of clash of life philosophy, clash of basic principles clash of um, direction, you know, because Jupiter as well, I mean, and Uranus, these are planets that are about the bigger picture. And when we get these kinds of clashes, it, certainly with fixed signs, because there isn't a, a sort of, there's a, I'm not going to budge quality about fixed signs. I'm, I'm actually stuck in this position now. I've taken it, uh, you know, I've maybe dug my own hole. I've got to stay in it. You know, there's not there's not a lot of movement in there. There's not a lot of room for compromise in there. And that, I think, is something we really have to be aware of, certainly this week. So let's have a look. So we've got uh, the week starts with the uh, sun uh, in the late degrees of Capricorn sextile, the moon on Monday, which is quite nice. But then the moon moves into Aries and then actually the action starts to pick up this week on Tuesday when the sun moves into Aquarius. That's another, you know, fixed sign. So already in Aquarius, we have in this order, uh, Saturn, Jupiter, and then Mercury. So Mercury is on the far edge of these planets in Aquarius, right? Uh, but at that same, on that same day that the sun moves into Aquarius, so that sort of fixed energy is starting to pile up in a way, we have that Mercury in Aquarius trining the North Node in Gemini. So this is a gentle reminder to us, I think, to try at least and be aware that we are only seeing a portion of the reality, that we haven't got the full picture, that we haven't got all the facts and that it's our job really, if we um, are running into things, to, uh, yeah, to take them seriously and to take a proper look, to spend some time to really gather information, to try and see the bigger picture and to try and recognise that not everybody has the same point of view and to try and avoid that clash of philosophy, clash of ideas, which, yeah, can be very disruptive, can destroy friendships, can break up families, can, you know, there's, there's, there's issues with that kind of a tense buff, you know. It can be very destructive, certainly when we look at the further astrology of the week. Because then on the 20th, we have the moon as well moving then into Taurus. So as I say, we've got then Sun, Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury and Aquarius. And we have uh, moon, Mars and Uranus in Taurus. So that's a heavy weight of fixed signs, right? So on the day that Joe Biden will be inaugurated, we have 
moon moving into Taurus, sun square moon, but we also have a Mars conjunction with Uranus. I, I find that a kind of, in view of what's going to be happening on, on the day, right? because Taurus to me exemplifies the sort of passive nature in a way. You know, for the, for the average Taurian, you know, if, if an average Taurian has his creature comforts, particularly moon in Taurus as well, then, you know, they're not going to get riled up about everything or anything. You know, they're quite comfortable, right? There's that sort of their Venus ruled, you know, creature comforts, pleasures, you know, it'll plod happily on its course. It takes a lot to rile the bull. And then, so we've got this peaceful background in terms of sign, but then we have Mars conjunct Uranus. And if we look at that in the light of the inauguration, then it seems to me to be the sort of as above, so below, and exemplifies this idea of the military power that has to be brought to bear on this event to ensure a peaceful transition of power, right? Because that's, you know, there's going to be more military presence and more uh, boots on the ground, if you like, on Inauguration Day. I think I saw this uh, on CNN. It said there's going to be a stronger military footprint than in, um, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq and Syria combined. So that is the kind of uh, military, um, you know, boots on the ground sort of force that is necessary to um, bring about a peaceful transition of power. And I think moon, important planet for the US, of course, rules the sun. So we have moon moving into Taurus on the 20th. So there's that sense of tension there with all these um, planets in fixed signs, the upcoming squares that um, we have already had Mars square Saturn and this week we've got Mars conjunct Uranus and Mars square Jupiter on Saturday. Mars square Jupiter in many ways is more complex even than Mars square Saturn which has a sort of restrained quality to it but Mars square Uranus you know it could also be you know, uh, in, in, in many ways, overwork, over effort, overachieve, you know, really um, strong force. And this is happening uh, it, towards the weekend. And on Sunday, we have Sun conjunct Saturn. Sun conjunct Saturn, I think this is about really the consolidation of power, because for better or for worse, you know, we're going to be, I think many in the US are going to be having this huge sigh of relief that the immediate danger has passed. I mean, Saturn in Aquarius has a lot of um, essential um, value, you know, in terms of sign, it's, uh, it's perfectly placed, um, it can do the job. I think there's a whole idea of democracy, of freedom, of personal freedom. So, um, you know, and, and yeah, power is the sun, the seat of power. So these two coming together, I think, on the back of a week, which has been very turbulent with Uranus in the picture, Jupiter in the picture, Mars in the picture. I actually feel that there will be, as the Sun conjuncts Saturn on Sunday, a sense of relief and a sense that this is actually, um, you know, that, that immediate danger in, in any case has been um, surmounted and overcome. So yeah, because what we see, um, have I missed anything out? Yeah, that moon in Taurus, excellent. I think as well, what we should look out for on Wednesday um, with the Mar Mars Uranus uh, and the moon in Taurus is just to check out the energy of that day because in a way, I see that as, as a bit of like, you know, when you go to the movies and you see a trailer for the next film. I think we're gonna see a trailer on Wednesday of things to come you know it's like almost the you know the film in 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 the short version to tent whet your appetite to see the full movie because the full movie of course is going to be the saturn uranus square which runs right through this year it's the big thread that runs through the year that conflict between different visions of society and that sense of in fixed signs as well of going to extremes really to hold on to the standpoint that you have taken. So that is the, um, that is the bigger picture for 2021, even though um, you know, it's not happening yet, but we know it's there, right? We're building up to it. So I think the moon has you know, fast moving planet, 
on the day of the inauguration moving into Taurus we get the Sun Moon square we get Mars conjunct Uranus this is the trailer this is the trailer the film is going to be Saturn square Uranus so I think for us uh, in terms of our individual lives because I've seen this a little bit playing out in my own friendship my, my in my group of friends where people over COVID are taking completely different um, standpoints and um, you know arguments have arisen it's that it, you know, we have to guard against intolerance and try to be accepting that when people don't share our views that we can respect that without feeling that we ha are losing anything we're actually gaining something we're trying in that sense to get a bit of a bigger picture which we are losing when all the planets are in a bundle and so many planets are in the fixed signs now anyway stay safe and have a good week speak to you again bye